de sainha, ela vem, já tá pronta pro abate. É, é, elas tão metendo bronca, elas querem esprega, esprega, vem que vem, esprega, esprega, vem que vem, esprega, esprega, vem que vem, que vem, que vem, que vem, que vem, esprega, esprega, vem que I want more, and I know I shouldn't. <laughs> You're lucky I'm respectful of everyone else in this gym. Bro! <laughs> oh. 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 relationship that you've never had. It's communication, it's trust, understanding each other physically, it's grunting, it's sweating, heavy breathing, climaxing, all condensed in a 15 seconds. You finished bro? Alright. Next time go for two plays. Spotting is never taught. You just expect it to know how to do it. It's the only safety measure in the gym, but there's nothing safe about maxing out at 405 for the first time with a 130 pound dude spot. Who gives a shit about safety? If I wanted to be safe, I'd wear a condom to the gym. Once my boyfriend was asleep, so I wanted to go fuck my ex real quick, so I drove down to the gas station, let him cream pie me. Music and a fucking pump and some pre. I live for it. Gosh damn is right, brother. Gosh damn is right. Drop the bags at the door along with my balls because they're non existent any longer. There is a trend going on in modern society where young men develop a strong and disciplined mindset. All their attention and energy goes straight into a building full of iron weights. Ultimately, they want the perfect physique. These men look up to real time legends such as David Laid and Chris Bumstead. They won't stop until they somewhat look like them. This creates a form of body dysmorphia, a common disease known by most men who are into fitness. They will look in the mirror each day and never be satisfied nor proud of what they created over the years. What excuse is it today, you little cock riding bitch? My girl left me, what do I do? Become exceptional. I'm getting bullied, what do I do? Hit the gym, I'm sad. 
What do I do? Train. There is no scenario in which working harder won't help. I ask you this, my friend, what is the alternative stuffing your face with honey buns, ice cream, and living life like a fat bitch, and going on the internet crying about how hard your life is? Is this how low you are? I thought you wanted it as bad as me. I guess I was wrong about you. I guess that little five foot three bitch was right about you when she cheated on your sorry ass with Tyrone and Chad. Those motherfuckers were digging her guts out and finished in her face. Me personally, I wouldn't tolerate that kind of disrespect. Bro. Little boy has never seen hamstring shreds before, huh? Don't worry, your legs might be as big as mine one day. And out of nowhere, they're about to beat us up, and you hear a voice. Hey, yo, Joe, puns right. Fuck these niggas. We turn around as I am Mike. Yo, Luke, let's use this light press over here. Oh, uh, yeah. Ah! Hey! Yo! Hey, thank God no one saw, though. Man, yo. Ah! <gasps>